Good, ever, good afternoon, everyone. SoCal Saber Bill Thornton here. I hope this finds all of you doing well and uh, staying cool. And hope it's not as hot as it is in Victorville. 111 degrees today. Just crazy. It's good, great day to be staying in the house. Well, another month has gone by. And this is my monthly uh, wrap-up for June 2021. Uh, in this, uh, I want to thank all of you for your support. And thanks to also to the new subscribers. We took a big increase this month. We went up 37 subscribers. As of today, we're up at 284. Channel's getting bigger. Thank you. Keep it going. Keep it growing. All right. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering uh, what game, board games I played in June, what video games also. Uh, what video, a little wrap up of the videos that I posted in June. Uh, what my thoughts are, tentative thoughts are for videos in July. And then at the end, you know, something about myself. So if you like what you hear, what you see, go down there and hit that like button, subscribe, push it out to your social media channels, and let's see if we can hit 300 by the end of July. Okay, June 21, uh, board gaming picked up a little bit for me, and uh, I just finished uh, last Sunday, or Saturday, I participated in the APBA Baseball SoCal Tournament for 2021. I had previously done it in 2019, but of course not last year. I took the uh, 1984 Detroit Tigers to the tournament, and uh, I ended up in second place. Lost two out of three in the finals. The final game, the third game, I lost eight to seven, but it was fun. Met a lot of the guys that I've played with before in this tournament and in Vegas in 2019. So that was nice to get back with them. The Superstar Baseball season, uh, season 22, is still in progress. We're, we're coming up on game 30, and it's a wild finish for the playoff spot. So uh, a lot of fun coming up in that one. Replay Baseball, I did played some solo. I finished up a tournament. I did my first playthrough video on that tournament. I wasn't real happy with it, with lighting and how I held my hands and everything. So hopefully things will get better because I want to include more demos and playthroughs on the channel. I did get to play Bleeding Kansas with another player. Uh, I really liked the concept of the game, the way it played. The first game, I thought it was a little weird. The person beat me nine VPs to eight VPs. I said, oh man, you know, that's, why do they have a track with, for 20 VPs and a chip that goes at 20 plus VPs? Well, I did some more reading of the rules. We had a rematch and I won that match 22 to four. A little bit better as far as the rules go. A lot of fun though. And then my grandson came over uh, to spend the day and the night with me. The first game we played was Access and Allies 1941. It's probably one of the first games I bought when I got back into board game collecting. Uh, I like Access and Allies 41. We played the whole thing. He played the Access, I played the Allies, and of course, he beat me. You know, he captured Moscow early. It's really hard to defend Moscow in this game. And then he was able to, and I wasn't paying attention, he was able to get enough stuff over in the uh, Western Germany or Western Europe that he just bombed the heck out of London and finally took our, for England, took over London. That was the end of the game. But fun we had. Next day we did play Memoir 44, the Pegasus Bridge scenario. I did give him the uh, Americans and I took the Germans because I've had about four or five people that I played this game with and nobody's been able to win with the Germans. Well, I wasn't again. He beat me. But it was fun. We also went over uh, and got in a four-player game at that one night, and we played a game called The Biss with the Kraken and Leviathan expansions. That was a lot of fun. We both liked it. When we got, got home, I went on the line to purchase it, but it was out of print, and I wasn't going to pay $105 for somebody trying to sell it. I'll wait till it comes back into print and pick it up for 50 bucks. So anyway, that was that. Right now on the table, I have a Warfighter, the Pacific Theater PTO. I'm on one of my tables that I'm learning. Uh, first time I've had this one out. I do own about 10 or 11 DVG games. This is the first, I've had Warfighter for a couple of years now, but I never got it on the table. And my sports rotation has Legends of Boxing on the tournament, on the table. I am in the tournament. I started the tournament the last time it was up on the table. It's a heavyweight tournament. I continue. And, uh, I'm continuing on with that. That's a good, this is a good boxing game. I really like it. 
Okay. <clears throat> so it's getting a little dry here. Excuse me while I take a quick sip. In video, in uh, June, I posted nine videos. Four on that air traffic control game I played, Tower 3D Pro. Two unboxings and two demos and an update. And uh, I'm going to continue. So in July, what I'm looking for, and speaking of that Legends of Boxing tournament, I'm going to give you an update, and I'm going to do a playthrough of one of the matches. This is not the championship match, because when this match is over, uh, I'm set up for the semifinals, but I'm going to box it up for its, this time on its rotation, and then uh, bring out another game. And I'm hoping to do a top DVG uh, board game countdown. I own 11 of them. And I'll, we'll count down the ones, i only count down the ones that I have played. So this could should be interesting. You know, Tower 3D Pro, I'll still put one of those out about once a week on Sunday. I just picked up three new airports in a sale that they're having right now. And feel, feel there.com. And then on uh, July 31st, I'm going to be a guest on my son's uh, YouTube channel. His channel is the Nickel City Mafia, where he's discussing everything all about Buffalo and related items and on that on the 31st we're going to be talking we're going to be discussing the Buffalo Sabres draft picks and how th we felt about those and so forth so that should be interesting I've never been a guest on a channel before you know and um, go ahead and check them out this week they, they go live he does several things during the week but on Saturday mornings this next Saturday he's going to be doing uh, AFC contenders and he's going to be talking about the, t the eight people that he feels are going to be contenders so if you're a sports fan, want to check them out, go up there. It's pretty early for us Pacific Coast people. It's 7 a.m. Pacific, you know, 10 Eastern. But he does record the live sessions, and he po publishes, posts them immediately at the completion. And if time permits, I'm going to be doing the, the second football demo, which I still owe that one subscriber. I haven't forgot you out there, my friend. All right, that's it. You know, for me, I'm doing, I'm doing okay. I'm going to have a long, way overdue procedure uh, this Wednesday, and uh, it's a routine procedure, but it's something that has to be done because I had colon cancer in 09. I don't have it now, but uh, this is the routine colonoscopy to make sure that it's not coming back. Uh, I had to do a COVID swab for it on Sunday. It wasn't as bad as everybody had told me it was going to be, but it's something I wouldn't want to do every day. So uh, if you like what you hear or what you see, again, go down there and hit that like button. Tell your friends about us. Let's get make our channel even bigger and better. And lastly, please let me know in the remarks section what you would like to see me do, okay? And I'll do my best to do it. So until then, until you see or hear from me again, take care of yourselves and be kind to each other. And... COVID's still running. If you're not vaccinated, please be safe. And if you are vaccinated, stay safe.